What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next video dealing with quadratics and actually the next section. What we're now gonna be dealing with is that full vector form of a quadratic over here. So y equals a bracket x minus h squared plus k. So this whole section, what we're gonna be doing is combining all those transformations that we went over in the previous section. Because in the previous section, what we did was we talked about all of these transformation values separately, the A value, the H value, and then the K value, and what each of them means, the different kinds of uh, cases that can come up for each. But we dealt with them mostly separately, right? So with the A value, we dealt with it separately. We dealt with graphs in this particular format. The H value, we dealt with graphs in this particular format. And then with the K value, we dealt with graphs in this particular format. There are different characteristics of each of these graphs. Well, now in this section, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be combining all of these and we're going to be looking at all of these transformations, all these transformation values simultaneously at the same time versus just looking at them individually. So we're going to go through a bunch of questions in this kind of format. All the quadratics are going to be in this kind of format. And there's going to be a bunch of characteristics we'll go through. I'm not going to go through all of them now, but there is one characteristic that I do want to mention now, and it's actually why this format, this form here of a quadratic is called the vertex form. And that's because it's very easy to get the vertex from this form. Now, if you remember, when we looked at each of these individually, what were the vertices that each of these had. Remember this one had a vertice of zero and zero, the same vertice as the base function y equals x squared, because over here it's neither shifted left or right, up or down. What about over here? Well, this particular graph had a vertice at h and zero, right, depending on if it's getting shifted left or right. And then this one over here had a vertice at zero and k because it was shifted up or down k units by that k value, right? So the biggest characteristic from this one, okay, it's called vertex form for a reason, is because it's very easy to get the vertex, and the vertex is actually going to be just a combination of these two. Because now notice we have an h and a k value. The a value, it doesn't really affect the vertex, but the h and the k does because notice here the k value in this particular case was like zero and then the h value in this particular case it was like x minus zero squared plus k so the h value was zero here over here the k value is zero well now we're going to have an h value and a k value so the vertex of this is going to be at h and k all right and that's the most important characteristic that we can get from this format. It's why it's called vertex form, because we can get that vertex right from the equation. Okay, we can't do that with standard form. So for example, if we have like, let's say x minus four squared plus 10. Okay, over here, that's in vertex form, we know the vertex is four and 10. However, if it's in standard form, like if we have two x squared plus three x minus four, for example, we can't get the vertex right away from here. There's some work that we're gonna have to do on this to get the vertex. We're actually gonna go through methods to be able to do that. We haven't done that yet. Or if it's in factored form, so if we got like five X minus two and then X plus six, for example, that's another form quadratics can take. We can get the vertex straight from just this equation, just by looking at it. Right? There's some work we're going to have to do with these different formats to get the vertex. But if it's in vertex form like this, we can get the vertex right away. Right, So that's the biggest thing I wanted to mention. And then the other characteristics we'll go over as the videos go on. 